Hey, real quick before we get into the Star 2.0 video, just want to give a quick shout out and thank you to Oscar Avila all the way in Decaney High School in Spring ISD. Appreciate you, man. Ms. Vasquez, thank you for checking out the videos and showing them to your class. Hope they're blessing you guys as much as y'all bless me. And just thank you so much for the encouragement, and I really, really appreciate it. All right, Star 2.0 video. All right, let's go. All right, everybody taking the Algebra 1 Star Test in the spring of 2023 and beyond is going to now have to face the Star 2.0 questions, all right? So let's get some of the misconceptions out of the way. Let's try to ease our fears about this stuff because it's not going to be crazy. It's not going to, uh, maybe it'll be crazy, who knows? But I don't feel it'll be that crazy based on the information that they gave us. And so I'm just here to break it down. That way you can understand what they're going to ask you to do as a student or a teacher. Here's what they're going to ask your students to do and stuff like that. All right, here we go. The old school test, the one that we took before, that one had 54 questions. Each one of those questions were worth one point each. All right, 54 questions, they're all equally weighted. And then only five of those questions were free response. Hey, what's the y-intercept here? Well, just see the four, bubble in the four. What's the slope here? Find the slope, bubble in negative 2.5, whatever. That's to the extent of the free response that they had on the old school stuff. And there's only five of those. All right, now this new test, instead of it being 54 questions, it's now gonna be 50. There's now only 50 questions on the star test. All right, that's good. Well, I guess so. Only 50 questions. So, yeah, cool. All right, now you're going to ask, okay, well, since there's 50, how many do I have to get right to pass? Okay, on the old test, you had to get, you had to get like 41% to pass. So it was like 22-ish questions right to pass. On this new test, yes, there's 50 questions, but they are not all weighted the same. All right, old test was 54 questions. They were all worth one point. There was 54 possible points. New test, there are 50 questions. There are 59 possible points to get. 50 questions, 59 possible points to get. Why? Because some of the questions are worth two points. Well, I know, it's okay, don't worry about it. Don't even worry about it, who cares? Don't worry about it. All right, let's keep going, let's keep going. So, the new test is gonna have 50 total questions, right? So, of those 50 questions, 37 or 38 of them are still going to be multiple choice. It's still going to be the regular A, B, C, D stuff. So 37 to 38 are still going to be A, B, C, D. You'll be fine. Just take it like a normal test the way you take it before. Now, I'm sure there's equivalent in there, domain and range. All of our stuff is still gettable. You can still pass the star test without even answering any of the 2.0 questions. You could still possibly, you'll be like two questions or three questions shy of getting a master's. Of just if you get all the multiple choice right and just don't even do the other ones, whatever, that's not, don't do that. That's a terrible strategy. I'm just saying, for an example, there is still plenty of tests left to do that's still the regular A, B, C, D stuff, multiple choice that you can do. All right? So don't freak out. It's not gonna be crazy. Okay, so 50 questions, 37 or 38 of them are gonna be multiple choice. That means that we have 12 or 13 that are gonna be the 2.0 style questions. Now, the 2.0 style questions. There's going to be stuff that's worth one point on 2.0 questions. And then there'll be some other 2.0 questions that are worth two points each. Just know 38 questions are still multiple choice. 13 or 12 of these are going to be the 2.0 style. Some of them are going to be easier than others. And we're going to go over the 2.0 questions style formats that you're going to see. And we're going to be able to identify some of the easier 2.0 questions that way like we will hunt these first you do the easy stuff those six steps to success then we're gonna go ahead and do let's get those 2.0 questions and here's how to navigate them here's how to set yourself up to be successful to be on the right side of this stuff so I'm opening the link it's in the description it might be in the pinned comment right now until somebody else says something really cool then I'll just pin their comment or whatever so you'll see this little link you'll scroll down until it says practice test login click on that it'll then bring you to this screen who cares just click sign in this doesn't matter uh, loading loading grade level pick EOC or pick nine the same thing will happen and then we're gonna pick the one that has the star redesigned practice test all right don't do the new item types the new item types will give you new item types but for like fifth grade math third grade math seventh grade math ninth grade math like it's not gonna be our level test so if you want to see all the stuff you can click on the new item I wouldn't because like I don't, I don't I don't care about those questions so I want to look at redesigned star practice test click on that 
I uh, skip the English stuff and now I go to algebra click on this guy here we go don't care about this let's just go don't care about this let's begin test now all right here we go blah, 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 blah. hey guys here's our start test holy crud first question says equivalent oh my gosh we better eat this up and get it right but for now we're just gonna skip through this guy well, let's type in that stuff this guy holy cow I got it you wanna go hey this is it okay this is a 2.0 question all right because it, I don't have any choices I see that this is a hot spot question you see how it says blah 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 blah, blah x intercepts pick two correct answers well it's a u on a graph where do you always go when there's a u on a graph you should want to go to the x intercepts anyway so look I'm gonna click there and I'm gonna click there wow 2.0 question oh my gosh we got it easy easy peasy next one skip word problem skip it I'm not doing that get to the very end graph type this equation in match it to the graph you should be great at that this guy out of these guys will all give you use look at the x-intercept this guy oh 2.0 question here we go uh blah 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 don't know I don't even know what it wants I haven't even read the question watch this I just click on the drop down oh dang it gives me numbers I don't know what the heck I'm doing this guy increases decreases okay that's the helps a little bit ah oh, shoot percentages I don't know but I do know increase and decrease now let's see if there's something that can help me here look there's an equation right here we can type in this equation and see if this equation increases or decreases and then that will help us figure some stuff out let me go ahead and try to work it out real quick pick my calculator let's get the ti graphene calculator <laughs> no don't do that one only the bots and the noobs are doing that one let's get that desmos graphene calculator let's go all right type this guy in fx equals 320 blah 0 0.90 close it raise it to the x holy cow there's no graph but I do know it works because I got the squiggly line let me zoom out let me find it let me find it okay here's the graph is this guy increasing or decreasing how do you know is he increasing or decreasing how do you know he's decreasing how'd you know that because if you were to write your name on the graph it'd be going downwards so let me go to this little blank right here if I can get the graph to cooperate scooch over please scooch over please all right and I will click on decreases and then the next blank says something 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 many students was at a rate of blank each week I don't know and so you would just do your best to try to fill this stuff out like see if it hits 288 let me turn it into a table see what happens uh, here's this guy 288 I don't see it. oh I do see it here I see 320 here pick either one pick either one of those and you'll be fine and this bottom guy rate of 10% 9% I don't know whatever but we at least have that part right so don't freak out you at least have that that piece right that's all I want us to know you don't have to get them all right this will give us one point on the two-point question on a 2.0 test all right let's keep going let's find some other questions blah blah, blah. equivalent oh my gosh guys don't miss that fish tank is this a uh, no way to change I guess blah blah don't miss that one oh look here's another 2.0 question select two correct answers what the heck let's see where's my calculator at calculator calculator here he is let's type him in 2x squared plus x minus 15 hey look right here x-axis negative 3 it's a u I go to the x-axis negative 3 and 2.5 do I see that here for my choices do I see a negative 3 and 2 oh I don't they give me more junk Ugh. so now we gotta type in this junk x plus 3 that doesn't match 2x minus 3 that doesn't match x plus 5 that doesn't match 2x minus 5 that doesn't match x minus 3 that oh it's probably gonna be the bottom one that guy doesn't match what the heck oh I remember when, remember whenever you're doing graphs and they have a u if nobody matches you have to find the guy that shares the x-axis with him he has to share the x-axis with him that's the guy we're gonna pick so my graph looks disgusting right now so I'm gonna take off all these choices because it's gross there's the original he touches here and he touches here I'm gonna find the guys that touch there as well let's see oh I got him I'm keeping him no not him he's barely off not him he's too high oh he looks really good keeping him this guy's a little bit too low this guy's a little bit too low as well so I like this guy and I like that guy so I'm picking this and I'm picking this and look it says select two and I've got two so I like this all right that's 2.0 question next guy 
blah blah blah. No, not 2.0. Not 2.0. Not, uh, not 2.0. Type that stuff in. Oh, 2.0. Here we go. 15. Ugh. Order the slope and y-intercept of the function below. Match the correct answers. Ugh. Huh? This is like a drag and drop thing. Don't mean to do slope and y-intercept. Y-intercept is super important that you know. It's where the graph touches the y-line. Here he is. Y-line, y-line, y-line. Negative 4. So I'm going to take this negative 4, click on him, and I'm going to drag him here. But watch, look. See if I click in that circle, in that square? Nothing happens. That's why I like the drag and drops. Those are my favorite ones. Because you could click on it and it turns into kind of multiple choice. Drag that negative four, throw him in there. All right, cool. Now the slope, let's see, the slope is going upwards. So I know the slope cannot be negative. You got to find two good points. Do the y1 squiggly and mx1 plus b. And you'll find out what your slope is here. I'm going to, I'm not going to do it. I want to do it, but I don't want to do it the other way because I don't want to teach the other way. Because we're fine. Cool, I at least have that portion correct. So boom, there's another piece, another point. All right, next guy. Nope, the equivalent, oh my gosh, eat that one up. Um, this guy, nope. This guy, nope. Graph that table, you'd be great. Oh, here we go, solution to this guy. Do the Y1, do the Y2, see where they touch each other, and then just type in your answer here. We got this, so this is gonna be easy. So, this is pretty much what your two point year star test looks like. It's not gonna be scary. Um, there'll be some stuff that looks weird, but yeah. Oh, look, another hot point question, a hot spot question. I can click that guy, click that. I can click. I can click up to three of them, I guess. And it says there are three correct answers. Let's see, let's see, let's see. Huh? You have to solve this guy for y. Oh, there he solved it for us. This guy right here is that a less than or greater than? It's a greater than, which means it's gonna be going up. But the y is negative. That means that we're going to do the opposite of what it's supposed to do. Only because the y is negative. This is an advanced thing. But if you just know that, if you were just to say that it's greater than and going up, I'm proud of you, I love you, you'll be so good. But if you can remember the rule that if the y is negative, then it's lying. It's lying. It's not telling the truth because you got to change that symbol. So I put my L to the screen. I see that it's not making an L. So that means that the symbol is making it greater than, which means it should be going up. But then I also see that the y is negative. Whoa, 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 whoa. That means that the symbol is wrong, so it really should be an L, which means it should be going down. So I want the dots that are underneath him. I like this. And remember how it's got a line underneath it? The line means that you can be good on the line. This will be the answer here. But this is what it looks like. These are hot, these are 2.0 type questions. It's not anything scary. You should be good to go. And there's a couple more. But this link is there. You could go around, play with it, see what's up. Look, did it go up, down, left, right? Click on it. Up, down, left, right? Click on it. Oh, two units. Did it go two units up, down, left, or right? Pick that one. Then did it go five units up, down, left, or right? Pick that one. I like those drop downs. They're pretty, um, they're, they feel like multiple choice to me. Just like hidden multiple choice. All right, keep it going. Keep it going. Holy cow, this one's disgusting. Blah, blah, blah. I don't even know. I don't want to read that. You can have that, test makers. I don't want to read that one. For real. But yeah, and you don't have to. You don't have to get it right to pass. You can pass with all these other questions that we got. All these easy, all these easy ones. The the trick is don't miss the easy ones. Determine the equation that represents x and y. The line blah 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 parallel passes through. I don't know. You can have that one, boys. I'm not doing that one. That's ugly. Look, I'm doing these though. I'm doing the rate of change stuff here. I don't. Oh, pick two of them. Let's see. Domain and range. I would have to turn this guy into a table. See if these numbers are in the x side or the y side. See if these numbers are x side or y side. Blum, 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 blum. But pick two of these. Make sure you have at least two picked. Pick one for the domain. Notice there are three choices here. Three domains, and then it gives us three ranges. One is correct for domain, and then one is correct for range. So make sure you only pick one for each. Don't go, okay, there it is. I got it. No. Pick one for that and one for that. Good luck. All right, next one. I got 38. Doesn't matter. Oh my gosh, blah, 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 27, blah, blah, blah. I don't know what the heck to do here. Good luck, guys. Y'all can have it. I'm not going to do that one. Good job, test makers. You've got me on two of them. This guy we should know how to do. Slip of a line. We're giving us two points. You better Y1 squiggly MX1 plus B this guy. Get him. All right, this guy. If they haven't shown you this, I'm going to show you this real quick. You're gonna, you'll type this guy in, right? you got to bring that ne negative 3X over because as an X squared, everybody should be together. So it's going to be X squared minus 2 plus 3x is what you're going to type in. All right, I should just type it in. I'm talking about it. x squared 
minus two plus, oops, plus three X. There he is. Oh, look, click here, click on the X axis. Negative three point blah and five point blah. Oh, shoot. All right, it can't be choice B or D because these aren't decimals and I have decimals right here, right? Those are my X intercepts. So if I'm gonna type in choice A, you have to type it in like this. It's three plus, then you put the square root in of 17, highlight the whole guy, divide it by two. You cannot put the minus with him. You can't write this the way that this is written. You can't go three plus minus. No, something weird happens. So you go three plus, and I get a 3.5. No, I don't have a 3.5 at all, so it's not this guy. Let me try the bottom guy. What if it's negative three plus, let's see, it gives me a 0.56. Yes, I have a 0.56. Other points should be a negative 5.6. Now let's turn this guy into the minus sign. First we do it with the plus sign, now we do it with the minus sign. Cool, I like him, he's working, that's how, that's how we do this guy. I'm so glad they threw it on here, I didn't even know that they had this, I'm glad I saw it, I'm glad I stopped and did it. But if they show it to you like this, you gotta type it in just like this, but one time for the plus sign, then one time for the minus sign to see what the numbers are, to see if they match those X intercepts that we're supposed to find. All right, 42, holy cow, this is gross, blah, 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 blah. Uh, no, we're not doing this guy, good luck. They can have that test question. It's a lot of work for one point. This guy, type, type in the choices, pull up a table, match him up. That's still worth one point. We'll be good here. Vertex, uh, line on a grid, <laughs> not 2.0. Uh, what's this? No, don't worry about this. Not 2.0. 2.0, here we go. Drag and drop stuff. I'm going to drop these numbers in here, see what's up. The function of blah, 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 blah. Complete the function, slope, intercept, form to blah, 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 blah. Man, I don't know. I kind of don't even want to deal with this right now. I'm not doing him. I don't want to do him. For real. Next. All right, that's it. We got through all 50. So that's what's up. Those are 2.0 questions. That's what your stuff will feel like. There will be 37 to 38 regular ones, multiple choices just like this that we can get. Then 13 other ones that are ugly looking, and you don't have to get all of them right. Some of them will be partial credit. Hey, pick three, and you only get one right. Cool. Great job, you got one point. There are 59 points to get. You have to get, I believe, about 22 to 23-ish to pass. So we're gonna shoot still for half of that. Like, like shoot, if you get a 30, that'd be great. If you walk away with 30 points, you'd be doing really good. But we're gonna shoot for like 25-ish points, just like we used to do. I tell my students, you're shooting for 30 questions right, that way they land at 25. Uh, but like, let's do the same thing. Let's keep shooting for 30 points. Hopefully we land at 25. There'll be easy ones that we can get, stuff that we can't get. Don't be discouraged by the stuff that you can't get. Just keep getting the things that we can get and you'll be fine. You'll still be able to pass, all right? Click on the link, go through the test yourself, feel what it feels like, and then, uh, yeah, that, that'd be it. Thank you guys so much. Good luck. Keep the comments going. You guys are amazing. I need to add one more step because you got to be able to recognize stuff on graphs. I figured that's an important thing. That'll be probably step number seven that I'm going to add. Just know what the y-intercept is. Know what the x-intercept is. Just know that. That's pretty much the seventh successful step. Know how to do those things. And a vertex on a U. And the axis of symmetry on a U. That's pretty much it. All right, guys. Love y'all so much for real. I feel the love. I really appreciate you guys. I'm so glad y'all are doing well. If you need something else, please let me know. Please let me know. You guys are the ones that got me to make this video. Yeah, 2.0. 2.0. We want it. We want it. We want it. So thank you, Father. You're amazing, God. Thank you so much, guys. Y'all be safe. Go get them. And let me know how you do. All right? We'll see you next time. Yeah. Thank you, Father. It's our honor. All your sons, all your daughters, give you praise. Thank you, Father. Thank you, Father. Thank you, Father. Thank you, Father.